Welcome back, it's Knack, bringing you Game 2 in a best of three matchup between Recent and Carbon Europa. They will be playing on Metalopolis this round, and uh, Recent uh, taking a very, very convincing win last game um, off of his opponent, and really kind of a sad thing because Carbon Europa started out with some absolutely wonderful, wonderful uh, sentry play and zealot play, trapping his opponent's uh, zerglings and doing some really, really nice stuff. And able to do quite a bit of damage early on in the game, but when it came down to it, that you know that micro just didn't quite continue the way that he wanted to throughout the rest of the game, and and his attack on his opponent's base, you know, sort of ran just a little bit dry towards the end. He wasn't able to take out the nexus that he got so close taking out, and then his and then he you know he got behind in the uh, unit's lost count, and so it was just a tough a tough thing for Carbon Europa. I know he's very excited in this in this matchup. He is going against Recent again, playing off race though this time. Recent chose to play off race in this in round two. He is going to be playing as Terran, spawning as the purple Terran in the six o'clock position, and Carbon Europa spawning as the blue Protoss in the eight o'clock position. They are short cross posi or short positions, rush positions via air, and then just you know kind of long or. It's not ter terribly short, let's put it that way. Um, rush distance via land, because they have to walk out of their base and then walk all the way back around to get up to their opponent. So I'm um, not going to see a, necessarily a rush, a, a land rush here, but uh, definitely they can utilize this short air distance to their advantage if they so choose. We will see what they've got in store for us this game. We do have a gateway and a gas going down for Carbon Europa right away. And he is scouting in the incorrect direction, and it's going to take him just a little bit, just a little time to get there. And let's see what we have going down for recent. He does have his barracks up and running, and he has got a scouting probe going in the correct direction, so lucky guess for him. And that is all we have so far. Let's see what he's putting down now. Another command center, so it looks like he's going to be going for a fast expand. We'll see how that's going to work out for him. He has no gas at this point, so he's probably looking to put up enough marines for defense and then expand off of some marines. I'm assuming in this location right here, but it's not uncommon for uh, you know these players to go for. Let's see, you know, to go for the gold expansion. Let's see if he scouted this. Oh my goodness! Carbon Europa did not scout that expansion, just barely out of his vision there. So, oh, this is this could be very very interesting for him, right? Or very quickly, we'll see if that's going to play much of a difference in his preparation. And he is taking an expansion of his own, so I'm assuming that he's doing this, you know, aggressively because he did not see that expansion going down for his opponent. So I mean, he's really got to be feeling aggressive by taking this. I think at this point, we'll see how that's going to work out for him. He does have his gas, and he's just now getting it uh, saturated. So a little bit late on the saturation there, and he is chrono boosting out his warp gate. Oh, I think he had it saturated for a little while before and got up to 50 minerals so that he could get that warp gate technology started. And let's take a look at a recent. He definitely has scouted this, so he knows that his opponent is expanding, which is going to make his expansion that much more worthwhile. Um, we do have a third barracks going down right now, and he has got a double gas now at this point, and a double gas, a second gas going down for Carbon Europa, our Rotos player. do have a third gateway, so it looks like he's going to be using his three gates for some defense right now, and then decide here in just a little while what he's going to do for his, you know, his tech. But right now he will be just defending off of three gates, and looks like he might be wanting to put on a little pressure here, so he does have four stalkers moving out across the map. Uh, let's see if he can keep, got to keep these guys away from that. Oh, and Recent does see that right away, so here they come right up the ramp. We'll see how these, uh, how much micro he's got. He needs to micro this one back. Oh, and losing the first one. He's going to micro these back just a little bit better. 
Oh, two of those stalkers going down, so just a little bit uh, shy on the micro that he really needed there to make that pay off for him. Let's take a look at the unit's loss tab. Uh, so he definitely did lose a little bit more out of that exchange than his opponent, but he did take down a couple of those stalkers, so not too bad of a deal. But he's got four more stalkers, well, two more now, making it a total of four. Coming back over, again, keeping them too close to the cliff so that Recent is not only spotting it, but able to do some damage to those, to their shields, before they can make it to this ramp. So not a good play there. He needs to make sure and keep those guys away from the cliff so that he cannot abuse that high ground. Uh, the expansion getting saturated up pretty well here is using some chrono boosts to get out some probes to beef up his economy because he is still on three gates and he is now just now tossing down his robotics facility. We'll see how that is going to play for him. I'm wondering if he's going to go straight for Colossus Tech. I believe that he may go straight for Colossus Tech, but their expansion for recent moving out right now to his natural, so he's not opting to go for that gold expansion. Um, which is probably smart, especially since it would have been spotted right away by this probe sitting at the Zelnaga Watchtower. Still chrono boosting out probes, so he's very serious about getting his economy up and running. Let's take a look at the units tab. He is a little bit ahead in the uh, in the harvester count, so that's a good deal there for him. His opponent, though, does uh, can utilize these mules to keep his economy up and running. Let's take a look at the income tab. You can see that uh, he's not too far behind his opponent in the income actually quite actually a little bit ahead when you take into account the uh, the spikes up to 1200 from these mules so you can definitely see that those are paying off for him right now we do have a force moving out across the map right now this is going to be actually a relatively large force let's take a look at the units tab oh he is going to be taking out this pylon and probe first <coughs> which is just now supply blocking his opponent after he had a couple more units warping in um, he only has stalkers at this point to defend this, which is going to be kind of a, a tough situation considering how many uh, marauders he has in this army. Especially now that he has slow and stim up. And this army actually going down very quickly for Carbon Europa, so not a good situation to be in. I don't think he's going to be able to hold on. This may be the last hack. We may see a GG here from Carbon Europa here any moment. Look at this army, that stim and slow just blasting through his opponent's stalkers. And now all of his probes from that expansion just getting eaten up. We do have one Immortal coming out here to see what he's able to pull off. And just going down, not enough to, to, to uh, hold off this attack. This Nexus will be going down, so the expansion for our Protoss player, Carbon Europa, is just about over. The Zealot's getting in and doing just a little bit of damage, which is nice. A little bit of mismanagement there by Recent. And anything Carbon Europa can take at this point is good for him. These zealots actually getting quite a few kills and able looks like they'll probably be able to clean this up. And they need a probably just one stalker or an immortal behind them to be able to take those guys out. Oh, they're gonna get cleaned up. These zealots are gonna be cleaned up. But uh, the trouble now is that for our Protoss player, he is behind in the harvester count. This immortal probably gonna get a couple kills. Doesn't need to back up. He oh, here comes a lot more forces though. And it looks like this, yeah, and there's the GG. And thank you, gentlemen, for playing. Recent will be moving on in this tournament. Carbon Europa, unfortunately, will not. We, but we sure appreciate him coming out and playing in this tournament. We hope to see him in the next one, and hope to see all of you out there watching to come watch this next tournament as well and finish off this tournament. And hopefully Recent, if you're a big fan of Recent, hopefully he'll be able to pull this off and uh, you know, bring a win out of the tournament. He will be going up against a, a couple other Masters players probably in the later rounds of this tournament. So good luck to him, and thank you guys so much again. We'll see you guys next time.